what you got to change around the great wheels um, what I like to do is drop a chain into the box is put the uh, the movement on and put the hour minute hand in the hole that you use to hang up the clock but drop a chain into the box with my magnetic screwdrivers I'll grab a hold of the chain and then we'll come out of the uh, out of the box. My slot screwdriver's got a little bit more power to it, and I'm trying to do this on camera. It's a lot easier doing it with one hand. Uh, using a magnetic screwdriver versus trying to put a pair of tweezers into these holes, I find it's a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and put the other chains in the holes and I'll be back. Now I have all four chains in the holes. I put the cuckoo bird back on the, the wire attachment. So now we go ahead and uh, uh, put the movement inside the case with the minute arbor put in it down in the hole. And this is a good time to go ahead and connect the cuckoo bird back to the uh, door. I'm going to try to do this on camera. We grab a hold of the wire. And shove it up through the hole. In the door. And bend the wire to its 90 degrees aligned parallel with the main wire. I'm not going to be able to do that on camera, but that's what I'm going to do. You want the cuckoo bird in a position to where the tabs are in the door opening of the clock. Here it's too far to the left, so I'm going to move it over to the right a little bit. And that way, when you close the door, it'll snap shut. I'm going to have to put a couple of screws in um, to finish aligning that cuckoo door. So... Again, this is reverse order of how you took it apart. Once you got a couple of screws started, you want to flip the clock around to make sure that the minute arbor is in the center of the hole. If it's not, um, you might have to take the dial plate off and it's easily to, to do there's a nail in the second, the 10, and the 6 o'clock position. And you take a screwdriver and pop open the dial plate. And you can reposition the dial, dial plate. Um, especially um, in the older clocks, somebody might have I changed the movement. Or... Um, and you get several different holes, but you want to make sure that the dial plate, um, there's enough gap around the minute arbor, because if not, friction uh, of the minute arbor touching the uh, dial plate will stop the clock. But once you got all the uh, 
screws and go ahead and tighten them up. And like I said, you want the uh, cuckoo um, to where it snaps shut. And then we're ready to put the um, the wire, the penland leader wire back on to the clock. Again, I leave this out because it's a lot easier to put the movement in with it out versus trying to force it back in the, uh, the case. You just uh, reattach it up on top to the post. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and bend the tab over that you before spread apart. And uh, before I put the bellows and everything on. I'm going to put the um, the weights on using a piece of wire versus putting the actual clips on because if I have to take the movement back out, I don't want to have to take these clips back off. You can use a, um, a safety pen versus wire to attach the weights to the uh, uh, chain. It's just something quick versus putting the uh, actual clips on and the washers at the end that prevent the chains from going inside the... Uh, uh, a case at the end uh, you want to put those on too when you're all done but in the meantime I'm just going to add some temporary wire um, just to uh, do a function test on the clock okay I have the uh, hour and minute hand back on and I have my um, weights on with the temporary wire so now I'm going to put it in my test stand and uh, do a function test on it now you want to uh, test it for at least 24 hours since so it's a one day movement and if everything functions as properly you want to put the uh, bellows back in and again you want to put the bellows in to where the nail hole and the screw hole line up properly. That way you're not creating more holes. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Um, and then once you got the bellows in, you want to run it for a, another hour or two to uh, make sure that the bellows are functioning properly but uh, I hope y'all enjoyed the the uh, instructional video um, sorry it's so many parts I finally figured out that my phone uh, battery is uh, I got it on charge but that's creating the problem and that's why I had to create so many videos but uh, let me know what y'all think. Take care and God bless.